Hey everybody, I wanted to share a really exciting tool that uh, I've come across in Onshape that actually makes it really easy to uh, plan out how you could build things in 3D but uh, that are made up of flat two-dimensional surfaces. So I'm thinking about the using the laser cutter to uh, cut out um, a shape so that you could actually fold that shape into the three-dimensional shape that you, you actually would like to create. So uh, you can see here I have a little box with a hole in it uh, and I've used these uh, sheet metal tools to actually create a flattened version uh, that we could cut out on the laser cutter or you could actually lay this out on paper and cut out yourself. So I wanted to show you a little bit about how that works so that you might be able to use it in one of your projects. So it's back up. Uh, I'm going to delete this sheet metal model and uh, show you this is my three-dimensional model you can see it right here and I'm gonna go to the sheet metal model here using this button and I want to convert the shape using the tool uh, the next thing that I need to do is thinking about the way this is going to unfold uh, I need to choose the sides of this shape um, that are going to be folded up to create this in three dimensions. You can kind of see right now that this is broken up into uh, flat sheets like this. And so the entire shape has been uh, split up into these flat pieces. <clears throat> you can identify certain edges to be edges that you want to fold up in order to make this piece. So I could click on this edge right here and a few other edges that I want to be the ones that are going to be used for folding. So that would be that one, and I think that one, and maybe this one as well. <clears throat> um, and so we'll, we'll move that around. I also um, don't need this cylinder to be part of that model. So I'm actually going to go to Faces to Exclude, and select that cylinder. And now what I can take a look at is I can sort of see this turning into um, this, this three-dimensional piece and I can hit OK. And now go to this flattened view and I can kind of see how this three-dimensional uh, shape is turned into this two-dimensional cutout. And so I could create now out of this a drawing and make a drawing out of um, this, this shape. So I'm gonna create a custom template. I don't need the title block or the border. Uh, this all looks okay. And I'm gonna select the flat pattern of that part to be what I wanna show on this drawing. Now you can go up here, you can see there's a view scale of one to three. Um, I'd like to try to make this uh, full size if possible. Um, so I put that on there. And then there's some things, I'm going to hit escape because that's the only drawing I want. And I also want to remove these bend notes. So this is made for, um, <clears throat> if you're going to make this out of, out of sheet metal. Uh, and so these instructions here, these bend notes say that if you were making this out of sheet metal, this portion right here would be folded up at an angle of 90 degrees with a radius of the bend at 0.004 centimeters. So it, it gives you some um, instructions if you were to actually make this thing, send it to a place that knows how to make things with sheet metal. We don't really need this, so I'm going to tell this to hide the bend notes and we're left just with this drawing. And so I could now download this to the laser cutter and I could cut out the outline and I could make it so that it actually uh, scores along this line so that it makes it really easy to fold. So with, with all of this I'm really excited about the possibility of um, <coughs> using these tools to make 3D objects using the laser cutter which cuts out things out of 2D shapes and so um, my hope is to show you how we might be able to use this to make some things um, real soon. So I hope this gives you some ideas and uh, I'd love to see what you come up with um, as you play around with this tool. Thanks a lot.